All right, so this is uh, the one month update on the Bamboo Lab H2D. Uh, I made a video about a month ago, uh, you know, just on my initial impressions. And since then I've uh, added maybe about 300 uh, hours of printing time on this thing, as well as several uh, updates. Uh, so first things first, um, I upgraded all the nozzles to uh, the high flow uh, nozzles. Uh, the biggest notice, the biggest uh, performance increase that I've noticed on this was that they no longer clog at all, uh, even with like polycarbonate or uh, any other filaments. Uh, I haven't really noticed the speed increase that much. Uh, in addition to that, I have the um, I have the vision encoder here, uh, so you can't actually print on this. Uh, I just took took out the PEI plate and put this in uh, temporarily. Uh, so to start off the encoding or the, the calibration of the vision, using the vision encoder, you go to calibration and just do motion accuracy and quick start. Uh, so this this takes about seven minutes. Um, the, the accuracy of the prints I had on this before um, I got this were already pretty good. So I haven't really noticed any significant increases in performance. Uh, so I just bought it just to test it out. And after it's done, it'll tell you uh, how much better the accuracy is. Uh, so moving on to the filaments. So I printed out this uh, holder um, on the bottom so I can put, uh, you know, my three HTs and regular AMS on the top. Uh, this one's out of made of PETG and that's uh, made out of uh, polycarbonate. I just ran out of PETG while I was uh, printing this, so I just switched to using uh, polycarbonate. Um, so I have all of these filaments drying right now. Um, uh, I think that compared to any other uh, filament dryer, this is probably the best I've used by far. Uh, after the latest firmware updates, uh, one feature I really do like is how you no longer have to remove the filaments from the, the, the holders. Uh, and it will automatically rotate it as far as it can within the um, within within the AMS uh, so you know that that saves me a bunch of time um, as you can see here this is what it looks like when it's encoding so it just turns or calibrating with the vision encoder so as you can see it just dims uh, everything except for the camera light and then it just uh, sort of scans the plate uh, and then it's about six minutes left um, so uh, in here I pretty much just use it for PLA um, I got a few different colors in there uh, some of it is for, uh, you know, making mock-ups of like functional parts before I use the expensive filament. Uh, the other stuff is uh, just for like model making of dioramas or uh, small models of cityscapes. Um, here I have the HTs which I've been using for, um, you know, like more the, the functional prints. So uh, in this one right here, uh, I have polycarbonate in there. I'm going to switch over to PAHTCF. Uh, the main reason why is because it's stronger and has lower density. Uh, it is a bit more expensive, but also I can use the uh, support material that I have uh, for for uh, PA and PET. Uh, so that you know uh, makes it easier to get rid of the support interfaces after uh, after printing. Uh, in the middle, AMS HT here, I have uh, the TPU for AMS. Um, I haven't really tried this yet. I've heard it's very hard. Um, but I just wanted to see if it was uh, if it was soft enough just for uh, you know making like uh, rubber seals to keep moisture out. Um, so if we go to the back here, um, I have uh, the support material and the AMS hooked up into the right extruder, and then the other two I go to the uh, left extruder. So this is so um, when I'm printing with like either of these, I can use the support material there. And uh, these these two will never need to be used at the same time. So, you know, I just figured they would go on the uh, same extruder. And then I also have the, uh, the external holder go into the left extruder as well. Uh, so, <clears throat> One of the things I've printed uh, since last time is this uh, water bottle holder uh, for a Nalgene on my road bike. Uh, that has held up very well. Uh, and I printed that out of polycarbonate. 
Uh, I noticed polycarbonate has kind of has a bit of trouble sticking, so I used a lot of uh, a huge brim, and I usually turn up the uh, the hot the the printing plate temperature about four degrees Celsius from the default to make it stick. Um, printing with the regular TPU has been uh, pretty good. Um, you just have to feed it in externally from the side. Uh, maybe there's a few failures for certain structures if they're like t uh, slim and tall, uh, but generally it has worked and you just have to, uh, you have to reroute some of the cables internally and uh, stick it in through the bypass to get around the filament buffer. Um, other than that, I think uh, overall impressions of the printer, I still, uh, I still think it's a very good buy. Um, I think it's probably the best printer that you can probably buy on the market right now. Uh, if you use it for uh, any professional use, or like me, I would definitely um, recommend getting it. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's all I really had to say on this. Um, subscribe for uh, more updates on things I'm working on. Thanks.